when, when you turn on the film with Clark in the spring first if eval, I mean, you saw his ball skills. Yes, he's a smaller frame guy, but this guy played bigger than his size. Tough, competitive, urgent. He fits our ethos, what we're looking for. Uh, the ball skills really stood out. This year, you even saw an increase in that regard. Six interceptions led the Pac-12. Uh, this guy gets it. He's a smart, instinctive football player, and he can really help our culture. Well, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be around a long time, and I've coached all type of guys, tall, small, you know, and, and he reminds me a lot of those guys where he may not have the measurables, but he has something that you can't teach. When I talked to him at the combine, just got off the phone with him, he showed me he's a good person. So now you put those two together, he could play football at a high level, because I've seen it on tape. He's a really good guy. He's already asking for the playbook. The more games you watch of Clark, it didn't matter who he was going against, even like last year, going against Drake London at SC. This guy would come downhill, he'd bring it. He didn't shy away from anybody. So he's urgent in the run game, like we said. And I mean, this guy, I mean, he fits everything we're looking for as, you know, as a player, so. Number one, you have to be in position. And so you could see when he's playing, he's in those positions to make those plays. Number two, he's watched enough film to be in position to watch, to make those plays. And then number three, he has the courage to go do it. A lot of times, the thing that separates the good ones from the great ones is the courage. You know, I'm there to make a play, but I don't do it, so I second guess myself. And that doesn't seem like that's him. So I'm anxious to get him here, hopefully in a couple of weeks, and you know, just to see who he is and see if he can carry over from what he did in Utah to here.